Hi everyone, Joseph back here again. Um, so today I want to talk a little bit about my journey as a normal student that wants to pursue medicine. Um, currently I'm in the process of studying for the MCAT, which is the standard exam that um, undergraduate students or any student that wants to matriculate into medical school takes. And it's really an academically rigorous exam. For, at least for normal students like me. I mean, I'm sure that there are students that, you know, have photographic memories or students that before they took an exam, they actually got their PhD in the sciences, in which case it may become more natural to them. But today I just want to talk about a little bit about the natural process for people who don't have these genius-like capacities who want to become a doctor. So first and foremost, I just want to say that I believe that what medical schools try to do is to cultivate some of the best and the brightest into some of the leading physicians of America, which I think is absolutely fantastic. But what I have come to gripes with with the MCAT is that there is a certain degree of difficulty that, you know, without trying to put it in a negative sense, it's just there is an overwhelming um, emphasis on academic excellence that you can see from the exam. Now, everyone who's a wanting, who wants to apply to medical school understands that there's two main things that medical schools look for first. First is GPA and the second is MCAT, both of which rigorously test your ability to understand and to synthesize information because the first is a measure indication of how well you can do at school and the second is a standardized test in which you're ranked against all the students in the nation. So in terms of academic parameters, the MCAT is really just a just a great standard, just a great way for medical schools to look at how you uh, measure up to other students in your in the nation or even internationally. But I just want to say that for students like me who may be stressed out, may be tired, um, that the, men, the MCAT is in no way an easy exam. And that is perfectly okay. It is perfectly okay to be stressed out, perfectly okay to be tired. And that I think that, you know, there is a sense of unwillingness to show vulnerability that really is demonstrated or is exemplified by the physicians that really run our nation. And whether or not that's okay, I don't know. But I think that an openness or willingness to talk about it, to understand that you know our physicians are humans too, and our aspiring physicians are humans as well, is just really something to take into consideration that you don't really do on a daily basis at least for the students I know that are currently studying with me or I know not to have currently studied, it's, it's absolutely daunting. And I just wanted to recognize that, you know, there is a time, or there are, I guess there's going to be many times when students, I guess from different backgrounds, really just get stressed about this exam. But, you know, we just have to put our best foot forward and... Yeah, that's all I really have to say. I guess this is, if anything, this is to a future me who may look back on this and think, hey, what's that guy thinking? Or maybe this is to someone watching this who's currently studying for the MCAT now or will be studying for the MCAT in the future and just doesn't think that their peers are in the same position as them. You know, you just have to put your best foot forward and whatever happens, happens, you know. You just got to do your best. Yeah. So... For normal students like me who don't think they're absolutely craziest, who understand that they have, or the imposter syndrome has really taken deep root in your heart, it's a natural thing. So don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Um, I'm in the journey with you. I will be in the journey with you for basically as long as I live. And yeah. That's what I wanted to get across. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.